Hello, I'm Miss Barb. I'm with 4-H in Jefferson County. And today we're going to talk about feeding the birds in the winter. They need a lot of fats. Birds have to keep warm. They have to keep moving. Your average bird that comes to your feeder flaps their wings about 40 to 50 times per minute. So that takes a lot of energy when they're moving. We're going to do a very simple feed. You can buy suet, but you can also make your own bird food using simple ingredients from your kitchen, your any type of shortening or lard, peanut butter, and cornmeal. And then I'll show you how to make a feeder to put it in. So you put in no exact measurements, a scoop of peanut butter, and a little bit more of the, of the shortening than you have of the peanut butter. Mix them together. You can use your hands for this. Usually I do, but today I'm gonna use a spoon just so I don't make a mess everywhere. And then you wanna add cornmeal. And the cornmeal, you're going to add it and you're going to end up with almost a Play-Doh consistency. The good thing if you mix this with your hands is that because of the fats, it really softens your hands up. And you mix and then you can see, I need more cornmeal, it's still not very, thick, we'll add a little more. I want a consistency that's fairly thick because I want it to hold on the feeders. You see a lot of times people dip pine cones and then they put seeds on it. Be careful when you do that. Make sure that you are doing it when it's cool enough because if you do it when it's hot, for one thing, what you're using will melt some. Also, the seeds can start to mold because of the moisture. And you're going to decide what kind of birds come to your yard. Don't put out just bread and leftover biscuits and all, because that's going to draw in the starlings and you don't really want them. If you want things like cardinals, you want to put out black oil sunflower seed. This mixture will draw in your woodpeckers and your chickadees. So you decide by what you put out which birds are going to come to your yard. Now I have two different feeders here. One is the traditional pine cone and you would just smear some on it. The other one is a little bit better because the pine cone, what's going to happen? Your birds are going to come and they're going to take it or your squirrels are going to take it. They're going to remove the pine cone or the pine cone will fall apart because they get pulling at it. So what's even better is when you have some branches come down. Save some that are about this diameter and you don't want branches sticking out because the birds that use this don't need to perch. They're going to be birds that can hold on to the side of the branch. And what you're going to do then is you're going to drill a couple of holes. Use a bit that's about half inch to an inch in diameter and drill it not all the way, but deep enough so it can hold the food. You can do two, you can do several holes if you want to. And take a drill bit, put a small hole at the top so you can take a hook or you can take an eye and you can screw it right in there so you'll be able to hang it up. Think about whether you want to use a hook or an eye because squirrels will try to take this away too and raccoons, they're all pesky like that, but they're still fun to watch. And then all you're going to do is take your mixture 
and you're going to push it into the hole. And the birds are going to go wild. This is, you can make this thicker if you want to. You can also just take peanut butter and smear peanut butter on there. The birds love it. They need the food. A lot of people too say that they're scared to put out feeders because they're afraid that when the feeders go empty, the birds are going to starve. Think about if you have a favorite restaurant and you go up and they're closed, you are not going to sit in that parking lot for days until they reopen. You're going to go somewhere else to eat. Your birds at your feet are the same way. They know where more food is than just in your yard. So if your feeders are empty, they're going to find food. But don't worry about your feeders going empty sometimes. Make sure you keep them clean. I know mine I have to clean frequently because they will start to get a lot, you know, the birds poop and everything gets on it. And so you have to clean those some. But this is a quick, easy, inexpensive way for you to feed the birds and bring them into your yard. It makes it fun to watch them in the winter too. If you want more information about what birds are in your yard, the library has a lot of identifying books. They have ones by Audubon and by Sibley, and those are very good. Why should you even care about what kind of bird is in your yard? Think about if there's an accident, you're going to say, oh, that's a shame. But if it's a name of something you know, you're going to care. Right now, birds are in decline in the country, and some of them are ones that you're familiar with. The chickadee is in decline. So when you know the name and know they're in decline, it makes you care a little bit more about nature and about what's going on outside your window. Enjoy yourself. Go bird watching. You can watch out your window. You can take a walk and watch for more from 4-H during the coming year. Thank you.